A helicopter rises from the Torah prison. After hours of legal procedure, Hosni Mubarak is released. But his immediate destination is a very short flight down the road, the Mahdi medical facility. His release at this stage is very much a technical term. He will remain under house arrest in terms of a state of emergency decree issued by the interim prime minister. A formal ban on leaving the country has also been imposed. We've lost everything. Now the police state will return, injustice will return, and every other negative thing that we'd hoped would stay away from us is going to come back. We have an independent judiciary, and I believe that it's enough for him to have left power without using violence against us like the other one, Mohamed Morsi. That alone is more than enough. Mubarak is expected to be back behind bars in the courtroom on Sunday when his trial on charges of complicity in the civilian deaths during the 2011 revolution resumes. The implication is that Mubarak is not being acquitted. Mubarak now will subject to trial for three different cases and it means for the Muslim Brotherhood they will use it for marketing that the July 3 movement is not just a revolution, it is a military coup. On the same day in a different court, leaders of the Muslim Brotherhood that opposed Mubarak for decades will also appear. They stand accused of inciting violence during the demonstrations that followed the military takedown of the Morsi government. The Tamarod movement, the self-styled youth body that spearheaded mass public protest that preceded the military action, has called for courts to strongly pursue the prosecution of Mubarak and Morsi. And ironically, it accuses the Morsi government of not being aggressive enough in taking action against Mubarak and insists that because of this, Morsi must take responsibility for the release of the man he replaced. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Cairo.